Astronomy is not just science. Astronomy is exploration. In a 1929 PNAS paper, Edwin Hubble introduced the world to a universe that was vaster, grander, and more dynamic than realized. Hubble's discoveries were made possible by large telescopes and by the man who built them, astronomer George Ellery Hale. At the time that Mount Wilson Observatory was founded, the idea was to build observatories on a mountain. And then the reflecting telescopes were the technology that enabled you to build really big ones. And so that's the combination that he put together, and that's really what changed astronomy in the 20th century. He wanted the United States to have the best instruments and the best astronomers and answering the top mysteries of the universe. So he was not doing it for personal glory. He was doing it for the field of astronomy. Hale sought out the scientists who could put his grand instruments to their best use. George Ellery Hale had a good nose for talent. And he always had his ear out for good up-and-coming astronomers. And that's how he heard about Edwin Hubble. Hale offered him a job and Hubble said, I'm going off to World War I. Hale said, I'll hold the job for you. Amid scientific debate as to the nature of the so-called spiral nebulae, Hubble set out to measure the distance to the nebulae and discover whether they were inside or outside the Milky Way. The 100-inch telescope allowed Hubble to see farther. Their giant collecting surfaces collected more light from more distant galaxies that are very, very faint. And what Hubble did, he took pictures with telescopes. The plates that they used were very, very lacking in sensitivity, so exposures took hours. So Hubble would have to sit there with their eye glued to the guiding eyepiece, making minute changes in the position of the telescope to correct for any drift. And on those plates, he detected, if he took a lot of plates and compared them to each other, he detected a few stars that were variables. These are unique stars that blink they get brighter and dimmer as they're breathing in and out. And from the period of the variation and the amplitude of the variation, he was able to infer that they were Cepheid variables. If you found a Cepheid variable star, you could count the blinks. And once you calibrated it, you could determine a direct measurement to that star. And from that distance, it was obvious that the galaxies were outside of our galaxy and everything was much further away. So that became the measuring stick. Find a Cepheid variable, you're going to get a distance. Hubble found a relationship between distance and velocity. The farthest galaxies, he found, were moving away from us the fastest. The universe was expanding. Hail loved it, loved the fact that Hubble had solved this. In fact, he told someone, quote, it was a capital discovery. This meant to astronomers and to the world that the Milky Way was not the universe, was not the sole galaxy sitting within a void uh, with space-time stretching out to infinity. No, indeed, it meant that those spiraling nebulae were other galaxies, that the Milky Way was just one of hundreds and thousands, even millions, of other galaxies spread throughout the universe. By building large telescopes, Hale enabled breakthrough scientific discovery and changed how astronomy was done. Well, I think it's happened time and time again that you make a large enough step in the capability of an instrument that it can just do a whole bunch of things that people couldn't try at all or just tried and were frustrated. Where would we be if Hale had not built Mount Wilson Observatory at that time? There wasn't another bigger telescope than the 100 inch for 30 years. He was the visionary. He was the empire builder who created the best instruments in the world for astronomers to look out into the farthest distances of the universe and answer the most pressing cosmological questions. This was an extraordinary person, an extraordinary time, who built an extraordinary place 
for extraordinary people like Hubble and others who, who came here. And for Edwin Hubble, an extraordinary opportunity made possible by George Ellery Hale.